Chaos Maelstrom time. Welcome back to more Metroid Prime. Now, the reason why we're on the pause screen is for multiple, multitude of reasons. But mainly, once we go into the game, you're going to see things look a little, well, different. Ew! Um, why do I look so gross? I wasn't expecting the freaking fusion suit to look so gross. Well, anyways, we have the Metroid fusion suit because with me today, I have... And Cannon Bark Fire 4! How did I get here? <laughs> Teleportation is the key to everything. Yes, um, we have Cameron Azar with us today as guest co-commentators, so we're going to uh, use them to... Uh, the, the fusion suit. Yeah. yeah. And... Uh, yeah, so we also have the Metroid Fusion suit, so every time we watch a cutscene or pause the game, we can Why see Samus. Why does that suit look so ugly, though? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me search this up to is, explain it to you. Is the tint of the TV wrong? Because I'm, pre I'm pretty sure the Fusion suit was a different color. Oh, no! Bless you! Or, is, it, or is, is that just the way it looks with the various suit on? Yeah, I was just going to pull up a picture of what it looks like in the actual game. Oh, wait, like, so what? The, diff it change, the Fusion suit changes depending on what your base suit is? Yes. Okay, well, uh, yeah, we're going to play with this for a little while, just to show what it looks like. Wow, this is weird. I can't find a sprite example. I can only find examples of what it looks like in Metroid Prime. That's weird. All right. Uh, now, we're going to go ahead and head back to Fendrana Drift, because the next uh, item that we need to pick up is there. Can you say that again, but this time in English? We're going to head back to Fendrana Drift, because the next item we need to pick up is there. That's what it looks like in the game. Okay, the, 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 it's even ugly. Okay. The summoners can't see it. Yeah, well, uh, I mean, you can just look up the screen. Also, is it just me or is, is this TV incredibly dark? It's like I'm playing Donkey Kong 64 all over again. Pause. Have you not been recording off of this TV? No, he's been recording off the one in his room. Oh. So I had to move all the stuff in here. Yeah, pause for a second. Okay. The, the brightness might actually be turned down. We'll be right back. What is the okay. Part? There we go. Is that better? Yeah, now I can actually see shit. Well, you can, because I'm blind now. Alright. So, yeah. Uh, anyways, I'm going to head back to Fendrana Drifts. I already okay, said so that. Can you explain to me what I missed? Um, Samus got all of her power-ups deleted, and she has to pick them all up. Also, there is something in the planet. She hit a wall too hard. Are you serious? Yes. We are dead serious. The, it, well, the impact of an explosion did it, you know, at this point, but it's think... just funny to see her hit a wall a little too hard, and then the pop-up comes up. You know what, at this point, I think that should be, it should be a part of her Smash moveset. Losing her power? It, it was! was. <laughs> it was one of her final smashes! <laughs> you know what, that's fair. But I meant more or less the lunch that she has to pick up her all of her B moves along during the, <laughs> during the Smash fight. I'm surprised that hasn't been a classic mode gimmick. All right, so here we are. Now we're going to go to Fendrana Drifts. I keep saying that. I still don't know what a Actually, is. technically, in her brawl, in her story mode in Brawl, she has to regain her suit. Yeah. All right. I miss this episode so much. Ouch. Ouch. I mean, nothing's stopping us from playing it. It still exists. Yeah, but I'm sure all of us independently own a copy. Yeah. That's true. I shall have mine here. I know this song. You did it to us again, Sean. This time on recording. You ruined the surprise. <laughs> you ruined the surprise. I was I was just gonna say, when, when the you know what part comes up, I was just gonna say, shh, shh, listen. Yeah, but I finally caught on. It's like, wait a minute. This music is familiar. Oh shit! I forgot that when you charge it in the original release, it like freezes over the cannon. Shh, guys, guys, listen. I don't even have to say it at this point. <laughs> yeah, but you have to say it so the summoners know what you're doing. They already know! If they've been watching this since this far, they already know because I've already talked about it. Because I've already been here before and I can't tell- But I haven't been here before. Well- I don't think you're supposed to fall into the lounge. Yeah, I know that. So, I forget, what is the fusion suit made of? Metroid cells, actually. Uh. It's 
it's complicated. There's some kind of mesh over the parts of the suit they had to remove surgically, but there's like, they never explain what the mesh is. Okay, so next question. Why was she stuck in the suit? Because uh, X infection. X pair. She got infected by an X pair. Like side. melted yeah, the suit to her that body. What Dark Samus is? No, no, she's Phazon. No, and also we can't talk about Dark Samus yet. Dark Samus does not exist yet. He hasn't gotten the echoes yet. But Dark Samus is Smash. Oh shit! I hate these things. Talk At least I let you do that. I can talk about anything. Else. You get your boss. Get, get your freaking dumbass. Uh, remember out of how heavily Mother Three was featured in Brawl because Sakurai didn't realize it didn't get released here. No, I remember. Porky I, was a boss fight, and that's it. That's the only Mother Three reference. And the stage. That's it. Lucas, the stage, and Porky. That's it. There was a. Uh, here we got more representation. The ruined zoo is from Mother One. Uh, Hello, yeah. I don't remember seeing this before. I don't think we're, I don't think we're supposed to oh, there. Oh, it's a save room. Uh, you probably shouldn't use it. I will. See, we can see it when we save. It's not a pretty suit. It'll get prettier when we have the gravity suit. Spoilers! Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize. I'm sorry. The gravity I didn't suit realize we had a, a gravity suit in Metroid. No, what a concept! No, I didn't tell them. I didn't name drop it. I said we were probably going to find something that helps us maneuver through water. I didn't name drop it yet, but you know, of course, you have to go out right and go ahead and say it. I mean, you could censor him. I could. But uh, isn't it? Isn't that suit that Sean doesn't want us to name in Smash though? Unusual gravity patterns analyzed. Gravity pulses detected in Vendrana area. In the gravity chamber. Are we gonna be Goku? What? <laughs> but Cameron, you hate Goku. Uh, hypersonic lion tamer. I said Goku, but I meant to say Vegeta. I lied to a lot of people. Super like Saiyan Royal Blue happened last night, apparently, and I missed it. Sounds like a personal problem. Right, can you know I break this yet? A date. Oh, my God. A blast of heat! You still can't get through there! I'm just saying, nothing nothing really significant has happened in Super in weeks. And I happen to miss the one time someone gets a power up. Anyway, welcome to Fendrana's Edge. This is an area of the Fendrana Drifts that we have not been to yet. This is also uncharted, so don't expect a map for this place anytime soon. Uh, we'll put back those. <sighs> well, ah, God. I wasn't talking. Wee! But you don't take fall damage? No. You just sort of stumble a bit. The fuck? Is that allowed? Oh. No, you take fall damage if you fall far enough. Also, I like to point out that this is the way back to the um, lab area where we got the thermal visor earlier. Also, I don't want to go in here because there are turrets. What did a turret ever do to you? Um, lots of stuff. I wasn't there for it, so it doesn't count. Okay, get out of here. So, that, is that what heat seeking or something? The wave beam is, it's... It will seek out an enemy, I think. Only if you, like, lock onto it. No. John, watch out, you're gonna fall! Oh, it, no. like, uses I'm the going missiles to fall. Oh, no. programming. Oh, no. I didn't actually mean to come down here. Okay, well, guess I'm down here now. Kill the fish. I think I'll grab that chair. Can, can I even kill the fish in this? I don't think I can. Bye, Michael. See you in, see you in another month. Also, oh, hello, you're a new enemy. Scan the visor. That's what I'm trying to do. Scan the visor. And you are a gel zap. Quad predator made of electricity, uh, blah, blah. Don't touch it, it shocks you. I think it's only weak to electricity. Okay, either way, it's dead. Alright. Yeah, again, since we have the power suit on, we're very clunky and can't move very well underwater. I mean, it's a fusion suit. <laughs> I'm so confused! Shut, shut up, Cameron. I'm confused! I thought you guys had the fusion suit on! <laughs> the fusion suit is categorized as the power suit. You should also be dying right now, to be fair, since you have the fusion suit on. Why would he be dying? Because he's in the cold. I have the very attribute to my suit. That doesn't help you with the cold. Why would the fusion suit be... Because it's, because it's part Metroid. And Metroids don't like cold. Yes. Oh. Yes, it's their mortal weakness. 
You say that like I'm supposed to know that. I've never played a Metroid game. We should play Super Metroid like on the group channel. Yeah, well, you know what that means. We'd have to watch television. We also have to find with that. Super Metroid is fantastic. We also have, to, we also have yeah. to beat one of the other games we are currently playing. Yeah, and since the other game that, that uh, Azure currently has picked for us is a mega project, it's going to be a while. Yeah, so two, current, two of our games that are currently going on the channel are long are long run games. Would you count Super Metroid as a long run game? Because no. me and you would know what we're doing. Oh, there's another little critter there. I love this guy. Yeah. We can't do anything one. with him yet, but uh, this is a glider. If we had the grapple beam, we could grapple onto this, but we do not because our grapple beam broke when we got thrown against the wall. Oh! Hello! Okay, wait, we can name drop Metroid! It's not Metroid. It's a hunter Metroid. It's an adolescent Metroid. We saw the grapple beam in the beginning of the game. Yeah. There was like a tutorial where it showed what all the hey, abilities do. Get your tentacles off of me! Again, Metroids have a mortal weakness to the ice beam, so there you go. Also, I really want to hit that thing up there, but I don't think I can hit it from here. Can I? Don't go falling. Oh! Well, not exactly the way I intended to hit that thing, but okay. I'll take it. Any other way out of this room? Uh, just the two, and it looks like this is the only just one I can reach. So, you're, what you're telling me is the way she accesses her different things is by changing hand motions? Uh, yeah, once we get another item that lets you, uh, lets you, uh, like, we, we have one, un, one spot for another visor. I don't want to reveal what that visor is quite yet, but... You already said it. Yeah, um... But you already said it this episode. That's not the gravity suit. No, no, not that. He already said the name of the other visor earlier. Uh, yeah, except we weren't recording that. Oh. Also, how do you... Oh, right, because I'm now at thermal visor equipped. God, I freaking hate these the things. the visor you thought you mentioned? The thermal visor. No. Once we get the beam that just once we get beam. once we get the the last beam that we have once we get the final beam I can tell you right now those guys are going to be a problem with the past. Grapple beam. Uh, not the beam I was talking about. I mean, is another beam after the grapple beam? The grapple beam is more of a not an attack beam. I'm talking about an attack beam. The grapple beam is a different utility item. beam. Ye yeah. Can it open doors? No, not in this game. How would I know that? Play girl. Oh, hi there. With that guy. You know what I think about you? Yeah. I think he looks better when he's dead. People say that about me all the time. Wow. How do you How do you live with your job? Speaking of which, Cameron, how has your job been since the last time we all hung out I together? Got Lord, I'm not making $12 long. an hour. Mm. And that's it. Oh, he's over there making who knows how much with her first apartment and her goddamn boyfriend and being a goddamn hey. nurse. She can drive, she has her own car. Make me look bad. Well, I mean. Shut your whore mouth! If you, if you want to. Shut get... your whore mouth! I'm just suggesting if you want more money, why don't you look for another job? Yeah, because I, I have enough free time to work a second job. I didn't say. I didn't think you might employ some working in public. What? Can't go public to work job. <laughs> then why are you complaining you about, about it? Constantly. I was not complaining just now. I was complaining about how Mimi's a better a, a better human being than I am. Why would you complain about that? You should brag about it. That my sister's better than me? I was That your sister is a good human being. I love my sister. Don't get me wrong. She, it's just, you know, with her being the way she is, I keep, the family keeps comparing me, it keeps asking me why I'm not like her, which is super annoying. You should relate to that. My family doesn't try to do that, but in a way they do. At least with you, it's your older sister. With me, it's even worse because it's my younger sister. At least I am better than my older sister. I don't have, see, I, have, I at least have a job. Uh, oh, hello, what are you? I don't believe I've scanned you yet. And as you guys know, I'm very scan savvy. What do we have here? An Aqua Reaper. This is a aquatic version of the Reaper Vine, I guess. Fire. Use the fire beam. Don't you just wish that we had a fire beam? I guess it'd be a flamethrower, I guess. Keep the same as flamethrower, Sean. Oh. 
All right. Get out of my. Also, now I want to get a, I want to get a blast choice with a you know, teach all the different beam X as, as moves and name it Samus. <laughs> you really think that you're gonna be able to teach a blast choice flamethrower? Right. I need to get a claw wizard. If any Pokemon, if Clouds any Pokemon's gonna learn flamethrower, it, really? Yes. Huh. I was gonna say if any Pokemon's gonna know a lot of beam type moves, it's gonna be Octillery. But I want one with, the, I want one with cannons on it. So with, with the cannon. Right? Are the ice beam is the ice beam effective on you? I feel like it should be. Oh uh, well, it worked for a moment. Momentary free. All right. And what have we here? I don't. I don't know. Looks like the logo for the game. Well. I'm just gonna say, thank God we can finally pick this up because water is now a problem of the past. If I could get it. <laughs> What's going on? No, 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 no. Oh, beaming in the game. She's too posing to assert her dominance. On the water? She's, she's proving. She's, she's asserting her dominance over the water? She's proving herself to the elder Chozo gods by T posing. That is a much nicer looking suit. Agreed. The various suits always game just look hideous, but now I don't get why either. We finally have the gravity suit. No, no, no. So, so Sean, sit to that. I guess it's because they saved the uh, what actual Vari's colors for the what the gravity suit. No, no, no. The now that we have it, there's no point. So water is now a problem of the past. We can move like normally underwater. And you can actually yeah. see. That too. Did we not see before? I, I, I was looking at the screen and it looked fine to me. Yeah, same here. So I'm confused what you mean by we can, we can find the sea. Oh, that is not solid ice. You're not solid ice. Thank you, Mitch. You're welcome. I wonder what he's up to. Who cares? I do, as a friend. I do. Oops. Uh, Mitchell. Structure, uh, incredibly strong against tremors, blah blah blah. Scanned an icicle? I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be a hint that you're supposed to do something with it. Yeah, but I don't think I have anything that can do anything with it yet because I need something hot to deal with it, I bet. Like a grapple beam. Is it an actual grapple beam? Is it an actual progressive theme or, or thing or is there just an item in it? I don't I don't think it's progressive. There's probably just an eye because I hit the thermal visor. It's aggressive. It's a female play, main character. No, 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 no. I saw it because uh, it, it led up to a, a missile pack. Okay. I like missiles. They shoot things. I hate these things so much. Is that a sentry Metroid? It's, it's dead. It's just a sentry bot. And now it's a dead sentry bot. For the Metroid? Pirates. As a Ridley. Yes. Wait, can I say that? Yeah, we already saw Ridley. Okay. We already saw Riddles. Did you already kill him? Um, yes. we're working on that. We're working oh my on God, that. Wait, Ridley doesn't wait, wait. stay uh, dead. Feature shots into this. Uh, is, is this the one where you introduced the better Ridley? This is the one, yes. But there was no need to center that because we already met Meta Ridley. Oh. Also, close that door already so they could stop shooting at us. Was him. he metal? Yes, he was metal in the opening. Okay. Yes. Because this takes place after the first Metroid where you blew him to hell. Yeah, and Ridley is revived. Next we get, next we're going to get dark. No, Cameron, that doesn't happen until Metroid Prime 3. I'm kind of surprised Prime they, didn't try, they haven't tried to do a... Oh, okay. I was going to say, I'm surprised they haven't tried to do a phase on Ridley. It, but I haven't played Corruption yet. We have... It, it's Omega Ridley. It's sort of... Well, what is his Echo Fighter going to get released? I, is it one of his Echoes? I feel like there's a palette swap for Omega Ridley. That's what I'd say. I guess I should have said skins. I don't know why I said Echoes. Okay, well, the good news is now we're done. That's the name of Pride, too. <laughs> now we're done here at Vendrana Drifts. But we so, just got here. So we can go ahead and get out. Uh, so, um, I. I so we can't we just pick up a suit and now we're leaving? Yes, because now we can actually uh, go explore one of the areas that we couldn't earlier because we needed shit to do that. So I'm going to uh, save you guys the hassle and I'm going to uh, cut to. Um, uh, we're going to end the episode here and next time I'll meet you guys in the Chozo Ruins where the next oh, thing I want to. Uh, I want recording. I want to get. 
Well, they we've already seen all this shit, so why do they want to watch me go back through Magmore Caverns That's again? Fair. So they can hear you watch television. We already ha watched enough television today. That's a f that's heresy. You can never watch too much television. We'll see you guys next time. Later. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, God. Hey, were you rolling into morph ball mode too much? <laughs> How does that work? I would say watch game theory, but Matt Pat Matt Pat's a prick. Have, have Matt Pat actually done a video on? Um, it surprised me. He has, but we stopped watching Matt Pat after all he made was snap videos. I watch, that's all I watch, that's the only content of his I watch, is the FNAF videos. Because he's, because he's an idiot about everything else, but... Doesn't seem to get, he doesn't get, seem to get too much of the FNAF stuff. Why are we still recording? I, I thought we had stopped.